How's it going everyone? So walnut trees are really really great to have. I mean when we moved here a few years ago we actually had one. We didn't realize that, that it was walnut tree but it was and so we have absolutely loved it. Uh, really enjoyed the nuts that we get from it um, as they are so so yummy. Um, so it is time to harvest them right now. Um, so I'll be showing you guys how to um, know when they're ready to harvest. Um, it's a real simple way just to harvest them and also a few things that you need to do afterwards um, before they're good to eat. Okay so you can see a few walnuts on the tree um, and that is the easiest way to know when they are ready. Um, you'll see because the nuts will come out quite easily and also the outer green shell will split apart like that. They're not always really open like that. Um, so as you can see there's a few here that have split sort of just like that. Then you just peel away and the nuts come out easy. Um, so yeah, that's the best way to determine when they're ready to harvest. Um, because otherwise sometimes they can sort of fall out. This will actually go all black, um, but it won't actually be ready to harvest. And it most likely means that the walnut is actually rotten. Um, so that's obviously not what you want. So just wait until they split open just like that. Um, then you'll know that they're ready to harvest. So for harvesting walnuts in your backyard, um, I really just know of three different ways to harvest them. One being you just simply pick them, just like that. Um, it's obviously probably one of the easiest ones to do, um, as you know, especially if they're a bit more lower um, lying to the ground. Also, our walnut tree is very easy to climb, so we can get up into all parts of the tree quite easily and safely. Um, so that's a real easy way. Um, see I've already got a few there and you just work your way around the tree um, collecting all of them. Okay so the second way to get them um, is by using a big stick and you just see all the walnuts and you just simply knock them down. Um, this is much better if you know walnuts, if your walnut tree is quite high and you can't quite get up all the way um, then this is a really good good way just to get them down. So see there's a few on the ground here and you just simply go and pick them up and just put them in a con um, any container or box. Okay, then the third method that you could use is shaking the tree. So, give them a good shake and you'll see they're dropping down quite easily. Then you just go around and pick them all up. Okay, so this is the walnuts that we got today. Uh, we've already harvest, harvested some probably a week or two ago and um, we'll probably get a few more as well as the pods open like at different times. So this is good, this is, this is pretty good. Looks like we're not going to get nearly as many as last year but I mean we still got some good walnuts which is nice. So after you pick them you want to keep them in a sunny spot and you want them to dry for about two weeks or so. Um, this just allows to get rid of some um, other moisture because if you crack one of these open right now and eat it, it won't taste good. Um, I don't know exactly why I might look into that, but um, I just know it definitely does not taste like walnut should. So if you let them dry out for a couple of weeks though, um, they then taste like walnuts. Um, so also another thing, you want to try and keep them a single layer, um, maybe two or three max. Um, don't put them all into say like a, a big bag. Um, because they will rot. I made that mistake last year um, and I put them in a sort of a reusable mesh bag and it was probably two kilos or so. Um, put them all in there and after a few weeks lift up the bottom and there was mold all over the bottom, went through them all 
there was heaps of mold so um we had to throw out most of those which was a big shame um because there was a lot of them there so keep them in preferably a single layer um i'm gonna eventually well, afterwards i'll just sort of put them out where the garlic is and where some of our other walnuts are so i'm just going to lay them out there because this is north facing so we got a lot of sun which is nice so yep just uh keep them keep them laid out dry them out for a few weeks and then they will be ready to eat so that's how easy it is to harvest um, your own walnuts and also prep them for eating um, so that's exactly how we do it um, i'm only new at this as well i this is really our second main time of harvesting and sort of storing um, our walnuts <laughs> Um, I mean, it's really easy to do and between the three methods of um, just hand picking, using a big stick or shaking the tree, um, you really get most of them down, pretty much all of them down. Um, so yeah, combine, combine those different methods. I mean, I definitely use shaking the tree and hand picking them um, because, you know, I'm able to climb up the tree and pick any that don't come down and stuff. Um, so I don't really need a big stick or something like that but if you can't then I mean you can use that and give the tree a big old whack and the nuts will fall down um, so if you like that make sure you leave it a big thumbs up um, and if you have any comments suggestions or questions for me pop them down below I'll get back to you as soon as I can and if you haven't subscribed make sure you click on my face that's popping up around here somewhere and give that a big old click and that way you just keep on um, keep updated with what I've got going on in my garden so every time I post a new video you can come along and check out what I've got going on um, so I hope you guys like that. I'll catch you next time.